evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for a much anticipated main event. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a belt breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. His adversary, with a record of 54 victories, with 40 by knockout and 7 defeats, from Pensacola, Roy Jones Jr. Fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Well, they've been waiting for this moment and now they get it. Round one underway. Jones has got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still it could get nasty as the fight progresses. He scored well after being hit himself. Two guys that can really take each other out. What's the best means of defense? Well, if one guy says to himself, I'm not the power puncher, then he has to be smart. He has to be technically solid in all areas. He's going to have the edge. Roy Jones Jr. bang by an uppercut. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Hagler's got to cut around his eye, and that can be a real danger spot, threatening the outcome of this fight. Big power punch from Roy. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Roy Jones. Hits him in the mug with the right. How about this from Hagler? Moments ago, you swore he would have gone down. Now, you swear that he's steady on his feet. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by marvelous Marvin Hagler. And we come to the end of round number one. Don't worry, Hagler's... Well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. Keep, keep moving. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Marvin Hagler. to get away from that headshot with the block. Unable to make an impact there by Marvin Hagler. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish. The old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Hagler's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Shake it up, Comes shake right it up, back at him with a left hand. Punch your weight off the rope. Come on now. Step, step. 
We always see great athletes week in and week out. But Teddy, what sport do you think can produce the best boxers? Well, believe it or not, basketball. Everybody would say football. We saw two tall Jones. He got demolished by little guys. We saw Gastineau. He got demolished. We saw Highsmith. He got demolished. A lot of football players haven't done well. But basketball players, they have the physical skill sets where they can make a pretty good fighter. Of course, you have to get a guy that mentally is adjusted. Beautiful. Nice move Nice. Keep it up. Keep moving. You gotta watch the water in the corner. And round number three is underway. Good defense just covering up down low. And he engages in the clinch. not just loading up, he's landing combination punches like he did right there. Right to the head with that right. Able to cover up that gut. Good way to protect the midsection. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Jones is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. A good block by Marvin Hagler. Keep it up. Keep it up. on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Jones's effort has been admirable. But I don't think he's getting the results he would like to get here. He's tiring himself. Yeah, what I think is starting to happen here, Joe, we saw him throwing a lot of punches, but not real effective punches. I'm wondering now, he's ahead right now in this part of the fight, but I'm wondering if he's getting discouraged because it didn't have the effect on his opponent he wanted it to. Keep moving, keep moving. That's, that's it. Marvin Hagler, of course, associated with Brockton, Massachusetts, best known as the home of the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano. But he was actually born in Newark, New Jersey, back in 1954. 90 seconds to go in round number four. A crushing two-punch combo by Marvin Hagler. Marvin Hagler's giving us a taste nice of work, nice some of that work. athletic ability, that hand speed right there. Good combination. And his opponent, though, now is going to have to show us that he could do something to sort of, you know, adjust to this, to counter this. And that's going to be controlling range and timing because he can't match up with the physical hand speed. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Look at that combination by Marvin Hagler. 
and that's the end of round four. Man. Jones is cut, man. is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad cash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things, avatine, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Adler scoring with that right hand. I'm cut. Come on, get focused. Jones is left, landing well. Great movement to get away from those punches. Really frustrating his opponent now. Hagler so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening. Two punch combo by Marvin Hagler. Keep moving. Hagler is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. And round five comes to an end. One of his eyes is completely shut. They want this fight to continue on. They want to give themselves every chance they have to win it. What do they need to do? Well, what they need to do is be very calm in a corner, get pressure on that cut. Get... Now the question changes. It's no longer a point of how to win. It's how to survive this round for Roy Jones Jr. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Marvin Hagler's jab on the outside. That has really been the difference maker here, hasn't it, Teddy? Yes, it has. But the most important thing is, you know, everybody says, hey, just use your jab, you control the outside. Hey, jab's a great weapon, but it can be very dangerous. You throw it from a little too close, you could get counted with that right hand. He's thrown it at the perfect distance, getting full extension on that punch. <laughs> He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Roy Jones Jr. is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Zoning in on that. Huge right hand comes crashing home. Solid. Oh, an explosive headshot there. He is down. Jones is getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Back to the body. Good solid one-two by Marvin Hagler. Jones's inability to get away from his opponent's right hand is costing him. He continues to pull straight back, and he's still in the path of the punch. And bang, and away he goes. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. Ladies and
and gentlemen, by knockout, your winner, Marvelous I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. Marvin Hagler is your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. Well, I'm glad you liked it, and just as importantly, or more importantly, his trainer, his manager, and his promoter like it, because that means that he's gonna be easy to sell now to television. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time, ringside.